Frank, I dare say you've had more comfortable three nils than that, without them really seeming to trouble the actual Mendy goal. But they, they, you felt like they were dangerous for big chunks of that game. Yeah, they, they are dangerous because they're effective. They've got good players, well organised, and so one nil's not it's a, it's a decent scoreline, but it's not the scoreline to, to make you comfortable when they can put a ball in the box at any minute and have a six foot four midfielder arrive in to head it uh, and others. So. Um, and off the back of two defeats, do you necessarily get a comfortable evening? Not always against a team like West Ham. I loved parts of our game. I loved the character, how we approached it. I loved the way we defended our box against those, that team who can do that and stick balls in there. Um, and I loved the way where we had a difficult moment for the first half or the second half. Make a change, Kovacic comes on uh, and we got on the ball again and we get our goals and we win comfortably in the end. Was that just about more energy with, with Jorginho because he, he got caught on the ball a couple of times is, is that what that was about? Uh, yeah, well I, I think Georgie drove the early part of the game where we were really effective and really good and uh, sometimes in a game it becomes difficult in midfield I felt that where they went longer um, and balls were b- bouncing around in midfield it was just time to sort of freshen up nothing absolutely against Georgie but NG can do the, the deep roll we've seen that recently Kov came on and not only did Kov bring energy but he brought quality and a little moment of receiving the ball and, and keeping us on it and moved us up the pitch well um, on the fullbacks, uh, maybe seeing Aspi for a little run here. I thought he did really well, and uh, Ben looked nasty. Although he tried to play on, it really looked like it. Yeah, it was, uh, Aspi. I had no doubts about because of how he trains and how he plays and how he is. And sometimes it's harsh if he's not starting. But Reese, we've all seen him play brilliantly. So I'm, I'm, I'm obviously in that position. It's good competition. Um, so he did brilliantly. It's how it's how he is. Uh, with Chile, uh, we hope it's not too bad. We just, like you say, you can see the nasty looking twist. I thought Emma, Emerson came on and did well as well. Um, but we'll have to assess Chile over the next day or two. Are you pleased now that you haven't got a quarter-final this week before Boxing Day? Because I'm suddenly looking, Everton are playing, Man U are playing, Tottenham are playing, you know, Man City and Arsenal are playing. I don't, I don't know, I mean, whether teams will rotate. Some players here are desperate for a game for us as well. I can never say I'm pleased that we're not in a competition, but it is a busy time and the players put a lot of effort in again tonight. The schedule is mad, so let's try and be fresh, but we must prepare right for Arsenal because going up against a team that's got quality players, a quality manager, and, and they're in a bad time, and that's a really dangerous combination. It didn't feel like a 3-0 game, to be honest, watching it. Did it feel like a 3-0 game to play? Everyone keeps saying this. It did on the pitch. Did it, um, really? OK. You know, to be fair, give credit to West Ham. They're a good side, and, you know, we had to be patient for the second and third goal, and we defended well as a team. And, uh, you know, luckily for me, I was in the right places to get them two goals. The first one of yours, uh, obviously, team hardly got hold of it at all he's just clothed it did you know uh, I know I'm on here because Cresswell's played me on you look pretty confident this is something I used to practice in school and in the park you know just getting in the box and you know when my friends are taking shots on goal whatever it was cross shot you know I had to anticipate and had to get in the right area you know I'll, I'll give Timo the benefit of the doubt that it was a cross so uh, you know it was a great ball great goal you're up to seven now, I think that is, uh, all competitions. The other two have got eight. It's, uh, you know, you're spreading it around well. We've had, we've had 13 different Premier League scorers as well, including Thiago Silva now. That, that is a good spread. We're not sort of reliant like some clubs are on you know, one or two. Yeah, we can get goals from different areas of the pitch. And you know, that's what I love about this team. You, know, you don't feel as, as much pressure as a striker because you have great players behind you that can score goals. So you know, for us, it's just about scoring goals, getting the three points and getting wins like today. And I know it's probably a smaller Christmas do for you, but I know there's a fair bit of Arsenal in the uh, in the Abraham family, if I remember rightly. And someone got the winner there, I think, this time last year. There'll be a bit flying about about the table. Of course, you know, my family have grown up big Arsenal fans, so it'll be nice to go home with a three points so I can rub it in.